If you're driving through the Essex, Vermont neighborhood the Quinton family lives in, you've got to keep your eyes peeled for bikers, pedestrians, and as of recently, Lola. I think it's probably my most commented post ever that she should go nationwide, she should go viral, like Lola should be known as the scootering dog. 12 year old Kate taught the two year old Australian Labradoodle the skill about a year ago. My friend and I were hanging out and we were, we told my parents, uh, uh, we're gonna teach Lola how to scooter. And they were like, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, go ahead, try. And 30 minutes later, I came back and they're like, and I was like, yeah, I got it done, she scootered. Since then, Lola's been going for rides a couple times each week. She's able to push off the ground with her own paws. And over the summer, Lola learned to go down the hill in her neighborhood on her own. It took a couple weeks to get like used to it and like start actually pedaling. As extraordinary as scootering makes her, Lola's adoption into the family is special in its own way. Six months before getting Lola, the Quintons lost their two-year-old pup who was paralyzed. Both dogs are from the same breeder in New Hampshire. When we could reflect after Millie died, we realized maybe she just wasn't healthy in the first place. Um, so we absolutely are just over the moon with Lola. And for Kate in particular, their bond is even more special. If Lola gets out of the house and she's playing and being naughty, Kate can go outside and she can get her immediately. Nobody else can, but Kate can. She listens to Kate. Kate is her person. And besides just scootering, Lola is also fond of piggyback rides. The Quintons say they couldn't be more grateful to have a dog as talented and loving as Lola. She's like a, a human a dog version of me. She makes me feel better when I'm sad and she's very like lovable.